Hi foodies, we're gonna get right into this rum cake. So I have unsalted butter right here in my bowl. And you wanna make sure that it's at room temperature so that it will be really soft. And you wanna cream it till it's smooth. Then we're gonna add the white sugar. Now in goes the white sugar and you're just gonna keep creaming it until the mixture is light and fluffy. You don't want it to be super dense like it is at this point. You want it to be lighter, smooth and creamy. While we're mixing the butter and the sugar, let's combine the dry ingredients. I have all-purpose flour and in this bowl, cornstarch. If you have cake flour, then you don't need to use the cornstarch and the all-purpose flour. Right here I have baking powder. Then I'll add baking soda and salt. And everything was sifted already, so I just need to whisk everything together. Once these are whisked, they're good to go, set them aside, check on the butter and sugar, and then use a spatula to scrape down the sides. You want everything to be mixed thoroughly. And here we are guys, this is nice and fluffy. Look at that texture. The color will also change a bit. Now this is good. All we need to do is add some more ingredients, all right? So we're gonna go in with vanilla. And guys, please remember on YouTube, there is a description box provided for each video. So if you check the description box below the video, you'll see the list of ingredients. Now I'm gonna be adding eggs guys, but I'm doing them one at a time. And these are whole eggs that are supposed to be at room temperature. It is usually best for all your ingredients to be at room temperature when you're making any cakes or you know, most baked goods. It just gives you a better result. You might see a little curdling going on if the egg is cold, but that's fine. That doesn't ruin the cake. Now I'm adding some egg yolks, guys. So whole eggs are gone in. These are egg yolks. Just keep mixing them in. Once all the eggs are added, we'll add rum and oil. So we've added the oil, now it's time to alternate the dry ingredients with the buttermilk. So we'll start off with some of the dry ingredients, so just add about a cup in there. And then once it is mostly mixed out, then you're just going to add a little of the buttermilk. All you need to do at this point guys is to alternate. We start with the flour mixture, we will end with it. So you do flour mixture buttermilk then flour mixture more buttermilk and continue doing that until everything is added but try to end with the flour mixture so what you could do is to add the flour mixture into four parts and the buttermilk in three parts Remember guys to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and try to do that for about 30 minutes before you get that cake in there. All you need to do now is to pour it into your prepared pan. It could be a bundt pan, a loaf, it could be a regular round tin, whatever you choose. We're gonna be baking this at 350 for 35 minutes. 
Now let's do the simple rum butter sauce. Get some butter right into that pot. And then once it melts, we're gonna add sugar. I'm using white sugar and a little brown sugar as well. So just stir all of that in to allow it to dissolve. Once the sugar is dissolved, I add salt and a little water. You can turn up the heat and allow it to come up to a simmer while you add the other ingredients. Once it comes up to a boil or a simmer, you can cook this for about four to six minutes. I'm gonna be adding just some of the rum at this point and just allow it to cook for about a minute. And then last minute, I'll add more rum just to make that flavor nice and strong. You can check the back of your wooden spoon to see how well it's coating it. This right now is super thin, but it can work if that's what you want. I want it a little bit thicker. So I'll simmer it a little more and you can check the back of the spoon. You can see it's thickening up. Now last minute, you're gonna be adding more rum and you can add vanilla. Just let it simmer for another, you know, 20 seconds. If you pour out that rum butter sauce and it starts to thicken up too much for you, feel free to add it back to that heat in the pot. Just add a little more rum, a little water, and let it simmer again. So the cake is out of the oven and I did my skewer test. The skewer came out clean. That means the cake is completely done. I'm not gonna turn the cake out now though. I'm just gonna poke some holes in the top and we will just, you know, pour some of that rum butter sauce on it just to soak through that cake. You're gonna treat it like a poke cake. You know those poke cakes where you pour the jello in? Right. But this time it's gonna be rum butter sauce. So just poke some holes in there and it depends on how moist you want the cake to be. You could even just serve the rum sauce with it. Now the thing about this cake guys, it smells amazing. It is so tempting. You will wanna flip it soon, but let it cool guys. I learned the hard way, okay? Let it cool, then you flip it. And then you can drizzle your rum sauce all over or serve it on the side. As I said, it depends on what you want but this is very moist it's flavorful it's tender absolutely delicious guys so if you have a party coming up or if you just have a sweet tooth this is sure to satisfy thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye